Hello, hello, we are doing something very different today, as you can tell. Hi, this is my hand. Uh, hopefully my hands aren't too gross to look at. If you're wondering why Roy is here, well, I'll tell you in a second, because today we'll be looking at this. <laughs> um, that did not slide as much as I wanted it to. Uh, first of all, I do have to apologize. This is the first time I'm doing anything like this uh, with real cameras and whatnot. Or, well, it's my phone, let's be real. Um, I am using a, st uh, what do you call it, kind of like a tripod -y thing, um, but I attached it to my table, and then I realized that my table uh, shakes a lot. So if there are any shakes, I'm going to try and get rid of them using, I think Sony Vegas has like a little editing thing you can use um, to get rid of like a uh, like stapler or something like that. Um, but if not, if this video is, uh, sh you know, shaky at times, I do apologize. I don't know. Uh, how else to do this? So, anyways, we are taking a look at this today, which is uh, very exciting stuff. Fire Emblem Cipher, uh, which is a trading card game. Now, if you are wondering about the Roy, I will address this. This Roy is here so that I can tell uh, where the edge of the uh, recording screen is, basically. <laughs> So yeah, but but also he'll uh, he'll be there to cheer us on as we open this up. So if you're wondering what this is, this is basically the Fire Emblem Cipher trading card game, um, which used to be in production back in the day. Uh, it has sadly been cancelled. Uh, it stopped production, uh, I believe, around 2020, uh, with 22 different booster packs. This, as you can see, you might be able to see down there, is booster pack 07. Uh, and I was uh, able to find this uh, brand new sealed, uh, you might be able to tell from the glimmer, um, this is still shrink wrapped, a factory sealed. I was able to find this for actually a really good price. Um, I think it was around like $60 USD, which I think that that's like pretty much standard retail um, kind of level. Um, so let's take a look at the box and I'll explain a few things. So uh, let us take a look at the box, as I mentioned. Um, as you can see, we can see Aliwood here and Ryoma. This uh, booster pack is basically a co combination of Fate's Birthright and Blazing Blade. And those are the types of cards and characters we'll see in here. Now I have actually opened uh, a couple Fire Emblem uh, boost packs yeah, back in the day. Um, but again, I've never opened uh, anything on this scale when we actually got a whole booster box. As you can see up here, there is 16 different packs um, in inside of here with 10 cards each. So there'll be about 160 cards. Uh, let's take a look at the top. Hopefully you can see that. Um, we got Sakura here. And we have Takumi and Lin and Hector, of course. Very cool stuff. Um, actually, we'll take a look at this side. Oh no, this side is just the information. I believe this website's down at this point um, because, like I said, these have been out of production for about three years now. And this booster box in particular came out in uh, the middle of 2016. So it's very surprising this was uh, available uh, brand new in shrink wrap, which is pretty crazy. 12 plus is the restriction uh, or whatever. And we've got barcode there, of course. Over here, there's some interesting stuff uh, that I took a look at earlier. So first of all, there is 114 different cards um, all together in total in, in this set, I suppose. And there's the breakdown of all of them from super rare to high normal as well, which I, I'm not entirely sure what that is. Uh, and then there's also the su super rare kakochigai, which means like different design. So I don't know what that's about. That might be uh, more rare, super rare plus, as it says. And there's the rare version of the redesign as well. Not entirely sure what that is. Uh, over here, this is something that I found very interesting. The first, uh, so the, at the very top, it says box konyu tokten. So that means um, it's the what is it called? Like the promotional stuff. Uh, if you buy the booster box instead of the booster packs. Uh, the top one says there is a promotion card, one out of two, so we'll get one of one of two different designs, I'm, I'm guessing. And the the bottom says it's a, ho a hologram marker card. I'm not entirely sure what that is, but there's also one of two as well. Um, and yeah, that's about it. So <laughs> here we go. Let's see what we can do. Uh, I, <clears throat> I will be right back. I'm going to get this shrink wrap off and I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, here it is. Uh, and if you are wondering, I did uh, specifically choose this one because we are doing a Blazing Blade uh, playthrough uh, right now on the channel. And I did intend to, or I thought it would, could have been a good idea to do different 
booster boxes based on different games we're playing. Um, but some of the booster boxes are very difficult to get for a reasonable price, so I can't promise anything. Um, but it would be nice to do some of these uh, in the future, because I don't think a lot of this kind of content exists, at least not in English. Although I might be mistaken, there might be some um, unboxes out there that do this kind of thing as well. Let's get this box opened, and I'll see you in a second. Oh, whoa, interesting stuff. Okay, so first of all, let's... Uh, Hold on, I'm just going to fold this one over. And let's slot this through. Okay, here we go. Here's uh, how it would have um, been displayed in, in stores in Japan at the time. Let's take a look what we have. This is very interesting. I'm going to get into this because I do know what this is. Now this, this is basically a tag that would have been hung up on uh, stores. Uh, and basically people who wanted to buy this would take this off the, uh, the hook and then take it to the counter and say how many packs they want, and then they'll go get the packs in the, in the back of the store, I guess. So this is really interesting, and they were 350 yen each, um, for, for each booster pack, of course. So that's really cool. Ah, uh, yeah, and it says it down here, actually. Kono card, reji made omochi itadaki. Ah, hitsuyo na kosu o tsutai kudasai. So that's basically saying, uh, bring this card to the counter and, um, tell them how many packs you want. So, little cute little, uh, Easter egg, Easter egg, I don't know, interesting little bonus. I guess this is our little, uh, bonus card, which is Camilla. Uh, very interesting, because I thought this was, uh, Fate's Birthright. Uh, but maybe there is some Conquest characters in here as well, so it's a Christmas Camilla, I guess. Well, that's interesting, so, I guess it's an illustration card that has the same back, but there's no, um, card information or anything like that. Very interesting stuff. And, okay, well, I guess uh, those were the two things for the bonuses. Uh, let's get into the actual packs then. I guess there is 16. Um, okay, I'm going to move these to the side, and we'll do it one pack at a time, <laughs> as per standard. So uh, here is one of the packs, of course. This is boost pack uh, 07, as I mentioned. Ten cards on the inside. Uh, the back looks pretty standard stuff. I think it's got the breakdown, as we saw in the box. And we got Eliwood and Ryoma. Uh, my, I, I don't, I, I didn't look up any card lists or anything, um, to, to begin with. I thought it'd be way more fun to just go into this blind. Um, but basically I'd be very happy if I get any of the major three lords from Blazing Blade. So, Ellie with Lynn or Hector, I'll be very happy about. Uh, one second as I get my scissors that I completely forgot about. Okay, so I only have this little multi-tool thing, but I'm sure it'll work fine. Let's, uh, <laughs> open the first pack up and, uh, see what's inside. So, oh, that is awkward to cut through. That's okay. We'll deal with it. Okay. Let's, uh, open these up. And we shall take a look. Here we go. Okay, here we go. Oh, it's Kent. But first of all, there's a little advertisement. Oh, that's the card list, I guess. If anyone knows Japanese and wants to take a look, there you go. I'm not going to look at it because it's kind of spoilery. Okay, we got Kent. Um, and again, I'm only collecting these, um... To, to, to take a look at all the gorgeous artworks and stuff, so I don't actually know how the game plays. There's Kent, that's a cool card. We got Sumeragi. Uh, that is Ryoma's father, right? I'm pretty sure. Oh, we got Sane as well. <laughs> Sane, yep, Sane, of course. If you know, you know. Um, okay, so I guess the Blazing Blade cards are in purple. Very interesting. We got Dia um, from uh, Fates, of course. Oh, Florina. A lot of the early characters in this pack. Oh, I can see something shiny in the back. <laughs> we got Sakura, which I believe is the same design as... Yeah, it's the same design as the uh, Sakura on the box. So that's very interesting. We have Zofi, of course. Um, what's his name? It's the uh, the gray-haired guy's kid, right? I'm pretty sure. Another Kent, a bit of a different artwork this time. I guess he's using his lance now. We have Mikoto. Which is uh, Kamui's mother, of course. And, whoa, we have a... What is... I guess this is a... Is this a super rare? Um, but we get Shinonome, of course. Let me just take a look at the card list just to check what rarity this is. Okay, I see. So this is a rare. Uh, so I guess there's something even more... More holographic and more crazy than this one. But this is just a, a regular rare, I guess. Alright, let's get into pack two. Very, very cool stuff so far. Okay. And I'm going to use my jank scissors once again. I might just start cutting. Um, cutting me cutting. How fitting. <laughs> just because I know you guys don't want to see me um, constantly struggle over opening basic aluminum packs. <laughs> oh, I can't even... Oh, this one opened horribly. I'm sorry. One second. Just for context, I actually haven't opened up uh, trading cards for about maybe five, six years now. I slightly got back, in, uh, back into Yu-Gi-Oh! Um, 
during my early university days, because a couple of friends were into it, but I haven't opened or, or bought anything like this in years, so this is very interesting. Anyways, we have Crimson from, uh, from Fates, of course. Ozuin. I don't recognize that character. Hmm. Not entirely sure. But that's a Blazing Blade character, I guess. I'm just gonna get rid of that. Hold on, okay. <laughs> we have Cyrus. Oh, okay, so uh, that Zofi was Cyrus's kid, is what I was trying to say. We have Guy. Okay. Well, that's a cool artwork. I guess it's going into the um, behinds and, and getting in a hit. Interesting stuff. We have a double up with Sakura, of course. We have Jafar. Oh, that's a cool one. I love his red eye up there. Very cool. We have Rim Sutila. I don't know who that is. Is that one of the... I, that might be... Actually, yeah, that's one of the villains, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. I didn't recognize her from the art style. <laughs> oh, we have Ruma. That's a really cool one. Uh, with the sunset there. Or the sunrise, I guess. We have Land. Oh, another character I don't entirely recognize. And... Oh, we have a... Rare Jafal, I guess. That's a very cool one. There's a skull in the background, signifying his death, I guess. And they all have little quotes. He's saying, like, Nino wa shinasena. It's like, I won't let uh, Nino die and stuff. If you remember, he's very close with Nino, of course. I might make another pile just for the, the rare or, or the holographic cards, so give me one second. Okay, let's uh, continue on to the third pack. And here we go. Oh, it is uh, Lucius, of course. Who has been done uh, doing a, a bunch of damage um, on my playthrough so far? Very cool stuff. We have Yukimura, of course. Another Oswin. Uh, wait, no, that name does sound really familiar. Is that maybe that's an enemy you face? I'm not sure. We have another Crimson double up. We have uh, Pent, of course, who's incredibly powerful. One of my favorite characters actually in Blazing Blade. Kagero, looking cool. She's the the ninja girl. We have another deer, although this might be another uh, design. I don't record. I don't remember the plates and sources and stuff. We have another different artwork for Sane. He's a paladin this time. I see. So he's a leveled up, uh, a promoted character, I suppose. We have Lilith with her dragon form as well. I really do like Fates, so these ca uh, cards are really um, nice to go through as well. And we have Kazahana. Okay, as El Rare. Very cute. Uh, of course, all the different cards are designed by different people, and uh, there's the illustrator down in the bottom there. Very cool stuff. I'll put you in that pile. And that's the one thing I really, really like about um, a lot of these card games. Um, they have a whole bunch of different art styles with different people drawing all the artwork, and I think that's super cool. Uh, I don't know if like the big ones like Yu-Gi-Oh do it. Um, maybe like Pokemon cards as well. I I never really got super into Pokemon cards, so. I mean, like, when I was a kid, of course, but not after that, so I'm not entirely too sure. Who is this here? We have Hisame. I don't really remember you, but there you go. We have uh, Sarah, of course, the healer, very Moe art style. We have Shinonome, again. He's, uh, he's very happy to catch a fish. Oh my god, it's Wrath. <laughs> I hope that didn't peak. <laughs> I think it might have. Oh, it's Wrath. Oh, you beautiful man. You beautiful man. Alright, maybe you should make a wrath pile. I'll make a wrath pile here. I think that's just in the... Yeah, I'm sure you can see it just in the corner. We have a Jafal, another a double up of Jafal. We have Hinoka, which actually, that's a really good point. I did notice that on the box, Ryoma is on there, and Sakura and Takumi are on there. But for some reason, Hinoka is the one sibling that they um, skipped over, I suppose. But there she is. Oh, nice, we got Lin. Um... That's, I guess that's one of the lords I was looking for. Although it would be nice getting a holographic version of, of one of the three lords, I think. We have another double up of Lilith. Very cute. Oh, we got Hector. Hector and Lin in the same pack. That's a very cool Hector as well. Um, swinging his axe. A lot of battle damage down there. And, oh, what is this? This is a, a super rare of sorts. It is Hydra. Uh, it says, what does that say? Shin, Shinryu? Um, like God Dragon or dark god dragon sort of thing but yeah it's got this really interesting kind of metallic sort of effect where um there's like a texture you can see the emboss on it which is really nice uh again i've been very um you know quite away from uh trading cards for a long while but you know it's it's kind of nice i'm not gonna lie i did i did i, I was glad i got away from it because you know this stuff costs money but it's nice to do something like this every once in a while 
There is Hydra. I guess this is our first super rare. Um, Roy. I guess, Roy, you're going to have to go out of frame. <laughs> I'm sorry, buddy. But, uh, okay, we'll put you there. We'll put all the super rares there. I'm guessing that's a super rare. Let me just double check. Oh, sorry. I am very stupid. Uh, Hydra is from... Um, it's on the Fates side. So that must be one of the Fates bosses. I'm sorry, it's been quite a while since <laughs> I played, especially like th towards the end of Fates. So I'm sure, yeah, now that I think about it, that might have been one of the characters that appeared. Um, I guess I just thought it was Blazing Blade because of the purple, but I guess it doesn't. I guess colors don't really matter. Okay, uh, pack four, I believe. Yeah, I think it's pack four. Um, okay, no, sorry, pack five. Yeah, pack five. All right, um, let me open this one. Okay, here we are. We have a another Yukimura. We have another Lucius, of course. We have Fuga. Oh, that's right. That was one of the um, the Wind Ninjas or something, I think. We got Rebecca. I love Rebecca. She is my daughter. <laughs> We're still not up to Rebecca in, in the playthrough, but she's very cute. I love her. We have Land, of course. Social Knight. We got another Pent. Uh, is that the same one? I feel like that was the same one. Double up. We have Yuzu. Cool. Oh, there we go, there's Ellie Wood. Actually, that's the same Ellie Wood uh, as the one on the box, on the box art. So that's really cool. There you go. We got Obero. I know a lot of people like Obero. And we have Ursula. Okay, interesting. We got like a villain as one of the, the rares. It's a very nice artwork, and I love the holographic with the um, magic circle here. Very cool stuff. We'll put you there. We're on pack six, of course. We have Florina. Another Shinonome, very happy about his fish. <laughs> it's a giant, like, catfish or something, I don't know. Oh, we have a Blade Lord Lin. I guess that's a powered-up version. You don't really get to see it um, in full detail in the game, so... I guess that's what it looks like, that's very cool. Cool stuff. We have Yuzu again, a different design though, this time. And Sane, I believe we already have that one. Oh, we have Nino, very adorable. <laughs> he's, just, he's on a picnic or something, I guess. We have Oswin. Uh, this one's more powered up. He kind of looks like a Saint uh, Saint Seiya character with that gold armor there. We have Fuga. This one's more enraged than the last one. And we have Priscilla. Priscilla was very uh, useful in my first playthrough of this game. Oh, nice. We have Raven as the rare card. Okay. Interesting. And as you can tell, uh, up until this point, there's always at least one holographic card, which is uh, very generous <laughs> on their behalf, I suppose. Uh, let's go to pack seven, I believe. Okay, here we go. Oh, or not. Never mind. <laughs> a little bit of uh, aluminum still stuck. Okay, here we go. We have Priscilla off her horse this time, so that's a different design. Very cute. Oh, Orochi. Orochi is my fate's waifu. <laughs> I love her a lot. Um, we there. We got a normal raven. Very cool. There's like two soldiers in the background. Cool stuff. Kazahana. I guess she's cutting through like a scarecrow back there. Very cool. I like all the floral patterns as well. A lot of detail in, in these. Even the hair. Like a ton of detail in this drawing. Okay. We have Louise, of course. She's the archer that um, Pent is married to, I believe. Um, yeah, she's the sniper. Sniper class. We have Sizer. I like Sizer. Very bright colored card for Sizer, though, but I do like that. We have another Hector. Uh, we have Zofi. I believe this is a different design. What was her gimmick again? She was, like, uh, clumsy or something, right? I'm pretty sure. So I guess that's why that guy in the back is uh, lost his armor or something. <laughs> um, we have Kent. Another double up. Oh, we have Setsuna with some really interesting armor stuff in the back there. Um, interesting. Oh, she's the gold, uh, phoenix knight. Oh, I see, I see. That makes sense. Put you that. Next pack. So, so far we've gotten one, uh, super rare out of eight packs, so I almost think it might be like a three per box sort of rule. Um, back in the day when I did used to open some other trading cards like, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh and stuff. Um, yeah, that would kind of be the case. I do remember. It was usually like two or three, like the, the highest rarity cards, so. Um, and I just realized this isn't open, so one second. We have another Sumeragi. Remember start, of course. We have another Sarah. We have Hisame. Another Wrath. 
I don't mind how many wraths I get. Oh, oh, by the way, I do have, I'm not, I'm not crazy. I'm not, I'm not a villain. Um, these cards, they're fresh out of the pack. I'm going to put them straight into a, a card binder. So, um, please don't worry about that. But I definitely do want a whole page of wrath if I can. So <laughs> that's just goals, isn't it? Um, okay. So we've got size over here. Another land. Oh, this is a new, new character. We have Mitama. Of course, she's got her little, um, uh, she has her little wooden plates, I guess. Um, her little, uh, I don't know what you call them, magic plates. Oh, we have Matthew. That's nice. I wonder what that means. There's like, uh, Shienryoku, which is like, um, collaboration skills. And his is X, compared to like Tan and stuff. It might be a thief, um, specialty thing. I'm not sure. Another new card, we have Hisame. Oh my god, I think we got it. We have a super rare Ryoma. It's a very nice card. I really like the um the exaggeration of the horns and stuff. I don't know if you can see that super well. Um, but it's very stylized. Um, very much so in this kind of like old Japanese style. You can even see the little holographic um sakura blossoms. Uh I don't know if I can get that right or not. Um very, very cool card. We'll put you in the super rare pile. So we've got two so far, okay, very cool. Maybe the odds are higher than I thought. Um, okay, we'll go into the next pack. Still, I do want a uh, super rare Lynn Hector Alleywood, or if a Wrath exists, then I want a Wrath. <laughs> it's kind of just what all I'm looking for. Okay, we've got Fuga, okay. We have another Rebecca, very adorable. I wonder why the pastors and stuff are yelling, <laughs> and she's so happy. <laughs> we have Cyrus. We've got another guy. I didn't know Guy's Japanese name was Gi. Um, so that's very interesting. I didn't know that. I only played Blazing Blade in English, so... Oh, we have Joker. I like Joker a lot. One of my friends loves Joker, actually. <laughs> so it's very fitting. Um, I guess... Wait, what's going on there? I don't know what the... Oh, you see, he might be on a horse. Oh, I see. He's a Rod Knight. Interesting stuff. A Hinoka double up. We have another Wrath. Wait, hold on. This is a different Wrath. This is a powered up Wrath. <laughs> This is another, okay, cool, cool, cool. We'll take those. <laughs> uh, we got Mikoto, of course. Another Lin. And we have, oh, nice, a, a, a rare Rebecca. Very adorable. I do like Rebecca a lot. I know she's not a particularly good unit, but I think that's the reason why I really wanted to train her up, um, because she wasn't um, immediately strong. Um, so there we go, we'll put you there. And I think we're halfway done, so let's keep the pace up and, and keep going. You know, I don't want these videos to be too long, but I also do want to get uh, my money's worth, because I did pay like 60 bucks for this, so... <laughs> uh, but I am, I am having a ton of fun, so hopefully you guys are as well. Okay, next pack. I've lost track of how many packs we're in. Oh, this is a new card, isn't it? Uh, actually, no, we've seen this before. This is Yuzu. Interesting. Got another scene. Also, I'm really happy that uh, they're very generous with how many cards are in this pack, because I remember Yu-Gi-Oh! only does like five cards per pack, at least in the Japanese releases. So 10's a really nice number. We have another deer. I guess he's snacking on uh, some butterscotch or caramel or something. Very cute. Um, another wrath. There you go, wrath pile. Um, we have Sakura, of course. We have another Jafal. I wonder if we've got most of the common ones now. Uh, we have uh, Lim Lim Sutila. Again, I didn't. I don't remember uh, her name, but I do recognize her her character design. Oh, Tsubaki! I married Tsubaki in um in one of my runs of Fates. Oh, I think I see a, a super rare. Let, let me just hide that. Um, we have Land. Do do we have this design? Maybe this is the first. I'm not sure. And what do we get? We have. Oh my God! This has like a quote in it. This must be one of the um, alternative super rares, I suppose. But it is Kagero, uh, and she is dressed in some sort of red attire, which must be... Um, I I'm not sure, maybe this is in the game, or maybe this is special to the card game, but it says a quote here. It's very hard to say, I'm sorry, but... Um, yeah, Tokuto Gorangare, it's like, um, you know, let me show you my power sort of thing. And all the... Ridges and stuff are all in gold. I'm sorry if that's really hard to see. <laughs> Holographics tend to be very difficult to see. Um, I want to put... Yeah, I'll put you in the super rare pile. But I guess that's what the super rare alternative looks like. It's got like a little quote on it. And uh, it's more shiny, I guess. Very interesting stuff. Next pack, of course. Okay, let's open it up. I'm sorry, this corner is, is very gross. I'm sorry about that. I if you care about that sort of thing. <laughs> we have uh, Orochi, yet again. You can never go too wrong with uh, too many Orochis. Um, we have Priscilla. Another Joker, and another Raven. 
And, oh, this is a new one. We got a normal Tsubaki. Very cool stuff. Normal Roma, I think this is new as well. This is the uh, same one on the package, of course. Very cool stuff. We have Tsubaki, powered up version. We have Linus, Linus Tech Tips. <laughs> um, one of the, uh, what is it, like the Dark Four or whatever, right? With his giant, uh, look at that, look at that sword. <laughs> Very demonic, I love it. Um, we have Rinka, okay. Do they whitewash Rinka? <laughs> Maybe we shouldn't get into that, but she does look very pale here. But she has a giant, um, what are they, what are they called? Maces? I don't know, hammers? There you go. And we have a rare Cyrus. Cool, cool, cool. Very standard looking knight, but that's kind of what I like about this, this guy's design. It's very basic looking, but I dig it. Alright, next pack. Let me just realign this pile so it looks a little bit neater. One second. Oh my god, look at how many cards there are here. <laughs> that's a whole deck. Um, okay. Let's open the next one. Okay, here we go. And we have Karnas, uh, which is a character I didn't know existed because I completely forgot to recruit him in my first run. Um, but this is a first uh, card, so maybe we could take a look at it a little longer. It's got like a magic magic circle going on. I believe he's the only dark mage um, that you can scout in that game, Yeah, if I'm not mistaken. Um, there's Kazahana. We have Fiora. Okay, interesting. New, new card there. She looks very lost and worried. I guess that's because she is. Moving on. Uh, we have Setsuna. Okay, cool. I like Setsuna. She's cute. I like her gloves there. Also, I like how everything's kind of watercolor. Sort of, um, past not pastel, but it's, it's very soft, the colors. Moving on. We have Louise, of course. And I also did realize there's a little mark saying that, um, you can do 30 more damage to winged characters. So I guess the archer unit is still a thing in this card game. Again, I have no no plans on playing the card game. I just really like the artwork, so I just want to display them in a nice binder. Uh, we have Kagero here. We have Lloyd. Okay. I don't think I remember you. Oh, wait, you must be one of the um, Black Fang characters. Yeah. There you have it, and there's two other characters in the back there. If, you, if any of you know, know who they are, let me know, because I don't immediately recognize them. Again, that's the thing with um, Blazing Blade or, or, you know, because it is such an old game. Um, some of the pixel sprites, you can't really tell what their full body character design looks like, if that makes sense. So some of these characters I don't immediately recognize, especially if it's the villains, um, because you don't get to see their names all too often. But we've got Yukimura commanding his little puppet lion thingy. We have a powered up version of Guy. What is he doing? He's jumping up in the air. Oh, I see. He's on the, the pirate stage. Um, I remember there was a stage where you had to fight on these three different ships uh, when you go to that one island uh, towards the end of the game. So that's very cool. And we have a... Oh, this is a super rare Nino. And there's some really cool, like, squiggles in the top, kind of signifying her mage-likeness, I guess. So I guess uh, super rares are a lot um, more common than... Uh, you might think. It feels like it's it's like a one in four pack kind of thing. Very generous, very generous stuff. Very uh, Moe art style. <laughs> Not really my thing, but uh, very cute. Uh, I do like the, the fireball um, effects there. Let's get into the next pack. Oh, there's something I noticed about the box, I just realized. Just one second. Okay, so we have four packs left, but something I noticed that's super cute about this. Actually, can I take this? Oh, I can take this out. They have the little uh, divider, and you can see different designs. We've got Sarah, uh, Rebecca, and I don't remember these other two, I'm sorry. Um, but they're there, we did pull those. We haven't pulled that Sarah though, so that must be the powered up version. And I'm guessing these are, yeah, these are Fates characters. Um, I don't recognize you. What is your name again? Is that Shinonome? That might be Shinonome. Uh, we've got Oboro, Kazahana, and Cyrus. So that's very cute. I do like the little separator. Huh. <laughs> I'll definitely hold on to that. I'm definitely not going to throw that out. Uh, but we have four packs left, so hopefully we can pull um, at least a rare version of Eliwood, Lynn, or Hector. I do want, like, a holographic version of one of them, at least. Um, so let's get cracking into it. Oh, I apologize. Look at what I've done to this pack. I'm sorry for any of one uh, who has OCD. Speaking of Hector, though, we have the Great Lord version of Hector. Look at all those soldiers there. They're fearing their lives for the Great Hector as he breaks through a wall, I suppose. <laughs> Very funny stuff. We have Yuzu again. We have Blade Lord Lin, of course. I do want the powered up version of Eliwood if we have, uh, you know, Lin and Hector. We have Mikoto, but that's a different version, I believe. Can you even use Mikoto as a recruitable scout in Fates? 
maybe in one of the DLCs, I don't know. Um, we got Kagero. Interesting stuff. We got another Louise. Couple double ups. Wrath, go in there. <laughs> I think that's the fifth Wrath we have so far. We have Dia. We have Sane. Very kind of Christmassy. <laughs> I don't know if that's intentional or not. Like the, the horse armor as well. And hand handing out a rose, I suppose. Because of course he is. And we have a rare Sumeragi. <laughs> not the character I expected, but there you go. Uh, interesting stuff. We are down to three packs. Let's see if we can get at least one of the three lords. Okay, I uh, butchered this pack as well. I'm, I very much apologize about that. We start off with a Priscilla. With another Joker. And I, I haven't commented about these, but the card quality is actually very nice. Very thick, and um, it's got like a matte finish, so it shines really nicely. Um, very high quality. Satsuna. We have, oh, there's a new character. We have Farina. I don't entirely, oh, you, you seem kind of recognizable, but I don't immediately recognize you. We have another powered up Ryoma. We have Mitama, with our little wooden things again. We have another Matthew. I do wonder if Le Gault is in this set or not, because I do know that, um, like, Blazing Blade doesn't just have one set that it appears in. There's some other sets. I just got this one because it was mostly Blazing Blade themed. Uh, the other one with Blazing Blade, I think, had uh, a pack with two other uh, game entries. Um, so I just thought this one would be nicer to do. Um, but there you go. And also, this one was available for relatively cheap. Hisame, of course. Oh, we have a super rare Takumi. That's a really nice card. I actually really like that one. Look at that. And I do quite like Takumi. Takumi is an interesting character because you hate him when you play Conquest, but you love him when you play Birthright. <laughs> so um, there you have it. Um, very luscious hair. Um, I kind of want to know his uh, conditioner and shampoo routine, to be fair. Uh, but also, you can see the Sakura Blossoms in the top corner, hopefully. Um, very, very cool stuff. I like that card a lot. Okay, let me put you down, and we got two more packs to get into. I wonder if there's any more Super Rares. Well, there's only one way to find out. Alright, let's get into it. Second last pack. We're starting off with a Hector. We're going to Mikoto. Kant, of course. Another Dia. Another Farina. It's Takumi. Have we seen this one? I don't know if we've seen this one. Uh, oh, this is a new card. We have a Dark... Crimson, I guess. Not the color dark crimson, but crimson, uh, but she's evil, I guess. Interesting. Crimson's pretty cute. I like a boyish haircut. We have a powered up Canas. Canas? Canas? I don't know how to pronounce that, because I never recruited him. <laughs> um, but no, there you go, with the magic circle in the back. Very gorgeous looking book there. Very uh, rich looking book. Kisaragi, okay. Takumi's son, of course. Um, I don't think we've seen this one. And we end with a rare Joker. Oh, very gothic looking with the... <laughs> almost looks like he's got makeup on or something. But, um, very cool card. He looks like he's got his three daggers in his hand there. He's jumping into action. Cool stuff. And here is our final pack. Give us luck, Roy. I'm just gonna chuck you back in frame for a second. Give us luck. Hopefully we can get, uh, your father as a super rare. <laughs> Let's see. Well, there's only uh, 10 cards left, so let's see. Okay, well, we're starting off with a Fiora. I wonder if we did get all the normals or not. At the um, After the end of this, I'm going to put them all in a binder and see if we're, ha you know, how many cards we're missing, that sort of thing. Um, okay, we've got Tsubaki. We have Kanas. We have Satsuna again. We have Hector. And Nino. And Yuzu, oh no, yeah, we did we did have this one. I remember the tail uh, in the back there. We have Elliewood, of course. And we have Ryoma with the sunset. And, oh, at least it's a new one though. We have Rare Lu uh, Lucius, of course. Very gorgeous looking. Look at that, that's the face of an angel for you. But that is a powered up version of Lucius, I, I guess. With uh, a book in hand and a staff. Okay, so there we go. Let's, um, I'm going to start putting these, uh, into the binder, and we can go through and see what we got. <laughs> just, just to see, um, and, and I think because they have little card numbers at the bottom, I'll put them all in order, 
and um, I'll show you uh, how much uh, I collected, I suppose. I'll see you all in a second. So basically I'm going to take a look at all the cards that I am missing. I have the little card list here, so let's go take a look. And I'm starting to think maybe I should get the singles because we are only missing, I believe, 12 or 13 cards, which is way more than I thought, considering that there's a hundred different uh, cards in this set. So we're missing a uh, super rare Aliwood, a uh, rare Aliwood, super rare Hector, super rare Lin, and super rare Ninian on this page. So the first page, I mean there's a lot of the main character lords, so there's a lot of super rares and stuff that we missed. Um, but I guess Aliwood has two holographic cards, because, I mean, fair enough, he's the, <laughs> he's the protagonist, that makes sense. Moving over to the left side here, again hopefully you can see, I know there's glare issues here, I do apologize. Um, but basically we are missing, uh, one second, okay, we are missing a rare Florina, and I guess a rare Sarah as well. Okay, so Sarah gets a holographic, that's kind of surprising. Our, uh, my boy there, um, <laughs> of course. Um, and then yeah, so we pulled the rare, uh, L uh Lu Lucius and Rebecca. I always stumble on Lucius, because his name's apparently Lucia in the Japanese one, I didn't know that. Okay, over here we have actually completed this page, which is pretty crazy. Uh, the only rare here is Raven, of course, but everyone there looks really cool. I love the purple uh, color scheme a ton. Okay, flipping over here, we have one card missing, which I believe is... Which is a super rare uh, Lloyd, I guess, or Royd, uh, which is the character in the bottom left, of course. We're missing one card. Uh, we have the super rare Nino up there as well, the rare Jafar, as well as the rare Ursula down below. Very cool stuff, very cool stuff. I thought it was really interesting as well because a lot of the characters have their normal modes and their uh, promoted modes, but Pent and Louise only have their advanced classes, which makes sense in canon because they appear uh, as their um, advanced classes, which I thought was a really nice detail. So there you have it. I guess Sony is not in this set, which kind of surprised me, but that's okay. Let's move over to the next page. Next over here, we're moving over to the birthright section, of course. Um, so I guess Land is the last character for Blazing Blade. Um, but we do have some of the cool uh, super rares that we did pull, such as Ryoma and Takumi. Again, apologies for the glare, just how my lighting set up. Um, but I guess uh, we are missing a super rare uh, Hinoka and a super rare Sakura as well as a rare Sizer, I believe. Okay, so they're the three cards missing there. I guess all the siblings uh, would get a super rare, wouldn't they? That makes sense. Okay, turning the page, we're missing one card here. Again, Kagero really does stand out because she uh, is the alternate art version, um, which I believe alternate arts uh, tend to be more rare. Um, but I, I think it's just like they have uh, like the, the quote and, and, and it's all in gold and stuff. Uh, and we are missing a super rare Oboro down there. But again, very cool lineup of cards. We have Kazahana, we have Setsuna, we have Joker. We pulled a whole bunch of them, to be honest. I am uh, very glad we didn't pull any uh, super rare double ups, because that would have been a disaster. <laughs> Over here now, we have actually finished this entire page, which is pretty crazy. Uh, we got some really cool cards. We got the Cyrus uh, super, uh, sorry, Cyrus rare, and we got the Shinonome rare. Everyone else is a normal. I guess I got all the normals, which is pretty cool. And we have the last batch of cards. Again, we have completed this entire page. In fact, we have completed uh, the rest of these cards, because these four are the last ones, uh, with Yuzu being the final card in the set, uh, number 100, of course. Uh, over here, we have a Sumeragi Rare, and I guess that's about it. Everyone else is a normal, but they, you know, all the art looks amazing. And we, we pulled the Hydra Super Rare as well over there. As you can see, uh, I'm just going to slip uh, Camilla and Celis in. Why not? Because these are the promotion cards for the time being. And there you have it. That is uh, the list there, of course. And we are missing, I believe it's 12 cards. Very, very impressive stuff. So uh, that is about it for my first ever uh, card unboxing video. I had so much fun, <laughs> uh, and I would love to do this more going into the future. I might even look up the prices of some of these singles that I'm missing, just to see if I can complete the set. I don't know, who knows? Um, but moving forward, if I do see any uh, Fire Emblem uh, Cypher boxes, that are uh, pretty good uh, deals, and I've, I've seen my eye on a few of them, um, then I might just do so. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this just as much as I did, and I hope to see you soon with some more Fire Emblem Blazing Blade No Reset Run in the near future. Bye bye.
They don't want you to know that this is what peak performance looks like. Get yourself a horse, dye your hair green, get a bow and arrow, and a bandana, and, um, I don't know, somehow look as beautiful as this man here. Even the light glare can't block his beauty. That is 10 out of 10 perfection.